I today I'll be telling you the best settings for OBS if you want to reduce input delay and you want to stream. I mean stream labs OBS. I'm also going to make an OBS version. Now this is my low end PC, so I'm currently on an i5, 16 gigs of RAM, and my graphics card is a 1650. So I'm going to be showing you the settings that help me, you know, stream better, reduce input delay when I record or anything. Alright, so the first thing is you go on the output. So you, wait, let me just try this. First, you go to this settings here, then you go on output, and then the streaming. I use a graphics card here, so you, you you click on this setting called NVIDIA Bitrate 6000. Just you can pause and use all this, and then for recording, it's pretty much similar. I just save it to my files, but I think streaming is the best, so just change this to a graphics card. If you do not have a graphics card, then you have to use another option. And then for video, I use 1920 here for the base, 1920 by 1080. The downscale I use by cubic. I use common FPS here and I use 60 FPS. Now, for the advanced, I didn't really do anything. So, I feel like that's those are the things that pretty much help me the most. But if you can do trial and error, and if you notice that you're still getting input delay, or if you set it to max rate or high, you can change it to low. There are a lot of options you can use. So change this to low, change this to max quality might not be the best for you. You can probably pick low and low quality. And also, if it doesn't, if this doesn't show, you can click the any option that shows. But if you if you have a graphics card, click on the NVIDIA NVIC H.264 new. Uh, yeah, that pretty much. Another thing that could help reduce your input delay is by using a game capture. I don't think a lot of people know about this. But this will help reduce instead of using display capture as you can see i've covered my screen so you can't see anything but just covering this will help reduce your input delay and focusing on game capture so like you double click on it you can then click on any if you have fortnite open click on the window i don't know currently have fortnite open but this was the last thing that was open so it's on here by default and to do it you pretty much click on this source here you see game capture around there and you add it and you'll be able to pretty much reduce your input delay. They, they didn't drastically reduce my input delay. Now I'm going to tell you some secrets that will help reduce your input delay once you have changed the output as well as the video. And another thing that I did to help reduce my input delay that I don't think a lot of people know about is by firstly right clicking this and then click on performance mode. Now doing this literally reduces input delay so much it's quite surprising. I remember I watched the YouTube video that helped me do that also by doing this so doing this like covering this screen and having input delay will show you the least input delay will help reduce input delay by a lot but those are the things that pretty much helps me as you can see my pc is all right it's not the best and yeah just copying these settings and as well for output ensuring you use your nvidia graphics card cbr max quality high i checked this and that will pretty much reduce your input delay if you don't know about this setting try it yourself and hopefully your input delay will reduce yeah without further ado if i've added value to you and i want to see more content subscribe to my channel follow my twitch and join my discord server and i'll see you in my next video which will be tomorrow thank you for watching our peace